Well, a fine good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am in Starksboro, Vermont, uh, this evening, which is in Addison County. And the building in front of us, as I head all, move all the way up, this is the Starksboro Village Meeting House. The Starksboro Village Meeting House is an historic church and town hall on Vermont Route 116. This is 116 in the village center of Starksboro, Vermont. It was built in 1838. Love the bell tower up there. Uh, anyway, it was built in 1838 as a cooperative venture between three church congregations and the town and is a fine local example of Gothic Revival architecture. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1985. Yet we can see the Gothic Revival style features quite readily. Look at these amazing church windows with these arches at the top. Uh, that's uh, certainly a uh, Gothic Revival style. Beautiful too, just beautiful. The Starksboro Village Meeting House as I just said, it's near the center of Stocksboro Village on the west side of Vermont 116, a short way south of its junction with Big Hollow Road. It's a single-story, rectangular, wood frame structure with a gabled roof, clabbered exterior, and a high stone foundation. And... Um, as we do a bit of a walk around, you'll see this high foundation. A lot of traffic in Starksboro this time of night. Who knew? A two-stage bell tower rises above the roof ridge line with corner pinnacles at the top. The main facade is symmetrical with tall Gothic arched windows flanking the main entrance, which is itself topped by a Gothic pointed window. A smaller arched window is set in the gable above. Um, that right there. The entrance is framed by simple Greek Revival styling. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I talk a lot about Greek Revival style because it's, um, it's, uh, there are a lot of examples around here. So, Greek Revival, that strong lintel at the top of the door, the pilasters built on either side of the front door, uh, pilasters or columns built into a wall, The uh, double door entry also uh, could be a, a, an element of Greek Revival style. The, the interior has an entry vestibule leading into the sanctuary which is finished in plaster with simple vertical wainscoting. A kerosene-powered chandelier hangs at the center of the sanctuary. The basement of the building, originally one large space used for town meetings, has been divided into two but retains many original features. Now, we, we can't go in. It's, it's closed this time of the day. In fact, it may be closed this time of the year as far as I know. I've never been inside. Prior to the construction of this building, Starksboro's town meetings were generally held in the village schoolhouse. Three church congregations, Methodist, Free Will Baptist, and Christian, each typically met in the homes of their members. In 1838, these groups came together and agreed on the construction of this building, which was completed in 1840. In uh, 1868, the Free Will Baptists built their own church on the south side of the village, and the Christian dwindled and eventually died out. 
leaving the Methodists as the sole religious occupants. The town moved its offices and facilities into a new town hall, uh, the present one, in 1910. <laughs> I love the fact that's a new town hall in 1910. And the Methodists formed a new union with the Free Will Baptists, using the larger edifice of the latter. This building then stood largely unused, occasionally used for community functions and services. Beginning in 1957, it has been maintained by the Stocksboro Village Meeting House Society. Alrighty, so let's do a walk around of this place. And actually, I'm going to start on the other side, but I do want to um, come over here. If you come to uh, walk this ground, oh, it is, it is uneven, <laughs> to the least. And uh, I would hazard a guess that this is a flagpole. But it is missing its flag. Tis the season for leaves. Erected by Starksboro Trailblazers 4-H Club, 1972. I don't know if they mean the uh, slate wall here or the flagpole. It's definitely a flagpole. You see the cleat right there. Um, no idea about that. But this sign right here, not the address, but this sign right here, Starksboro Village Meeting House. There we go. Much better. Much better to see. That well, that was just a zero, but uh, the electrical meter. Okay, let me uh, turn around. I'm, uh, I'm staying on this late wall here. So, so let's walk around this side over here. I love the slate walls. If you uh, watched my video on um, the uh, slate mill, uh, slate Finishing Mill, that's part two of my Bombasine State Park Slate History Trail video. Then uh, you know why I'm rather fond of slate, the slate wall. Besides, it's also stacked, easy peasy to uh, put together. And this is that high foundation I was just talking about. I mean, look at that. That's a crazy high foundation. Not just a high one, but a crazy high one. And then there is a daycare uh, yard here, we can see. I mean, looky at that. More Gothic windows, stained glass. I do love a stained glass window. I may not be religious. But I do love the look of the church. Ooh, and a school bell. <laughs> Who doesn't love a school bell? You can't tell, probably, from the video itself, but, um, but it is getting dark. We had daylight saving time uh, take effect at 2 a.m. today, and the um, it's getting dark now. It's no, oh, I think sunset was 4:34 p.m. today. It's uh, 10 of five right now, and it's certainly getting dark. But the uh, trick of the camera is to fool you into thinking that is not the case at all. So yay for that. All right, so I'm gonna head around to the other side of this building. I'm gonna look up so you can see another angle of the, uh, in fact, there's the town office right there. 1910. Interesting.
So again, we can see the Gothic uh, styled arched windows. I love that. The high foundation right here. The uh, 12 over 12 sash windows. So 12 over 12 windows here and 12 over 12 windows there. And then uh, daycare again on this side, but I think over here we'll be able to get a better view of the back side of the building. That, let me back up some more. It does have the Greek Revival style elements up here. Uh, the pediment style right here, right? That triangular piece. And then these um, wings, if you will. I'm sure there's an official name for them. I don't know what that is. And then as uh, I walk into the, the driveway here, I note there is no parking lot and if there is a graveyard back there, I don't see one. Although, I did drive by a cemetery here in Starksboro. Not enough time to walk it today. But uh, we can see another side of the bell tower. And um, look how uh, the neat of paint that is. We can see the metal roof, and uh, the uh, clapboard just means it has wood siding. Uh, it's spelled clapboard, but pronounced clapboard. Anyway, um, so this this is the uh, again the Starksboro uh, Village Meeting House. Built in 1838 to 1840 um, here in uh, Starksboro, Vermont. So, thank you so much for coming with me today. This is Patricia. I'm traveling for history. And um, if you're enjoying my content, I would um, ask that you subscribe to my channel. I'm currently at 92 subscribers. 92. Holy cow. At 100, I'm going to offer a special subscriber video on what it takes, a behind-the-scenes look on what it takes for me to produce a video for you. You know, the uh, technical failures, the Patricia failures, I'm a little embarrassed to admit those. So many of those, anyway. Uh, the humans in our lives who just do, wow, what are they thinking? Um, how I decide which uh, place I'm going to film, or where I'm going to be, what I'm going to talk about. Um, and uh, at the very end, I'm going to share with you two creepy people stories. Each one happened at a cemetery, miles and miles apart. And um, this level of creepy that made my gut say, get away. So... Anyway, if you're interested in seeing that, we need eight more people to join us to become subscribers. So, again, if you like my content, please subscribe. This is Patricia. I am traveling for history. I'm in Starksboro, Vermont this evening. Until I see you again, you have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Bye.